What up, y'all? It's your man, Patience. And listen, I'm going to definitely need you guys to hold my mule on this one. All right, y'all, before we get started, I definitely want to say I'm sending out prayers uh, for all the people who are affected by Hurricane Harvey down in the Houston area, as well as the coastal cities uh, that were affected. A lot of people displaced. A lot of people uh, had to evacuate and leave their homes. And I'm sure a lot of them don't know what kind of condition it's going to be in when they go back. So I definitely want to send my thoughts, prayers and monetary support to the people in Houston. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard there's been a lot of speculation surrounding the Lakewood Church, of whom the pastor is Joel Osteen, and his help, or lack thereof, of the people in the Houston area. One particular person who called out Joel Osteen is Pastor Greg Locke, and he says that the Lakewood Church, which now is open and is helping families, was shamed into it. All right, all right, all right. Let, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Now, listen, got a first shout out to Christian Post who posted this. And so I think they did a fabulous job of reporting this. So listen, the popular internet preacher who I just talked about, Greg Locke, insisted that Pastor Joel Osteen was shamed into opening up the doors of the Houston mega church to the victim of the tropical storm Harvey. Locke was among a number of other critics on social media who demanded that Joel Osteen open the doors of the Lakewood Church to help provide shelter for flood victims this past Monday. Now, and his tweet went something like this. It said, Joel Osteen, as a pastor, you have a huge obligation to show the love of Christ at this very moment. Open the doors. Hashtag Houston Strong. Now, that tweet went viral. A lot of people jumped on it and it started a firestorm. Now, listen, got back to the great people at Lakewood and uh, one of Lakewood's uh, spokespersons who is also Osteen's brother-in-law. His name is Don Iloff. And he told the Christian Post that there were eight maintenance personnel on site at the church who would let anyone in who needed shelter. In fact, on late Sunday night and early Monday morning, Three people separately arrived at the church seeking shelter. They were taken in out of the weather and later transported to the convention center where they could get further help. And on a Saturday night, uh, for those of you who may have seen it, Joel Osteen wrote on his social media that he was praying for the safety of those affected by the flooding. And later on Sunday, he made a declaration that the church was inaccessible due to severe flooding. Hmm, I don't know. And how could there be people there to let people in if the church was inaccessible? Anyway, uh, let's move on. As I said before, several people on social media started reposting the images online, refuting that Lakewood Church had been affected by the flood and a media firestorm soon ensued. The church had now become a shelter for flood victims after the city requested the space to house those who are displaced. Now, of course, there's been a backlash uh, for Pastor Locke. They're saying, uh, listen, why are you coming out and why are you discrediting a fellow pastor? You don't have all the facts. And Pastor Locke said, yes, we do have all the facts. Do you know why there are busloads of people at Lakewood Church right now? Because of the media firestorm that ensued on Twitter. Now, think about this. The tweet was only 24 hours ago from when it was posted. Are you going to tell me that all the water in the building completely went away and the entire building was cleaned up so that they could now take refugees? No, it was just as clean then as it is now. They're only doing this to save face because of the media firestorm. Wow. He went on to say they can do what they want with their building and they will. But don't lie to us. At the end of the day, I really hope and pray they help a lot of people. But no, I'm not going to apologize for the tweet because mega churches shouldn't have to be shamed into helping their community. He also explained later in his comments that if he really wanted to talk about Joel Osteen or lambaste him as he was being accused of, he would choose to point out the things that he doesn't preach against. <laughs> yeah, that's a different topic for a different day. So what do you guys think about all this? Do you think uh, that Joel Osteen was simply not doing his required duty as a Christian pastor and helping those in need? Or was the church inaccessible? Was there flood? 
I mean, does Pastor Locke have a point saying, listen, after the media firestorm, now all of a sudden, 24 hours later, the church is clean and all the water has went away and now you're letting people in? What do you guys think, man? Definitely get in the comment box, subscribe, a like the video if you love the content. I really want to know what you guys think about this, so get in the comment box. Maybe you guys know some other information out there about this situation that would help to enlighten us as we try to see what's really going on out here. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys rocking with me. The subs are going up, and I really appreciate it. Continue to share these videos. Until the next time, it's your man Patience. I'm out.